Greetings and welcome to May, the month of the Wisak Festival, which is celebrated all over the world. Wisak is a sacred time to Buddhists and some Hindus in which the birth, enlightenment, and death of the Buddha are commemorated. It is also widely celebrated by those who recognize the sacred Wisak full moon in Taurus, the one time each year where the Buddhic and Christed energies are merged and poured into the planet for the benefit of humanity. You will find that spirit moves in synchronicities and your awareness of when synchronicities present themselves will help guide you on your path. Coming into May, I received many pieces of information which all led me to the understanding of what May and this year's WESAC would be focused on. Information came to me in the form of a respected scientist warning of runaway climate change, a man who had died and shared his experience of the other side, a video regarding my personal astrology, and through a conversation I had with a beloved student in which she shared what she had been sensing and which aligned perfectly with my own sight. While seemingly unrelated when taken individually, all of these showed their interconnection by ultimately pointing to the same overriding message. The time is now, embrace it. The scientist urged us to spend our time building community embracing the present moment and loving one another. The man who had a near-death experience urged us to focus on God's work here and now, not to live as if this world is all there is, but to work to build God's kingdom here so that we will be prepared for our transition out of the pain and suffering of the world. And my own knowing that had been presenting itself was a blending of the two. It was showing me that all of us who are here in service to humanity and yes, that would be you too. Don't have any more time to waste. Things move in cycles, and we have prepared for many cycles, seeing opportunities to stretch ourselves in our service come and go. Things have come full circle once again, and a new window of opportunity is presenting itself right now. Yes, you must do what is necessary to care for your physical vehicle, but it is time to truly follow your heart's calling or to open yourself up to it if you walled it off in the past. It is time to dream big about what we can be as a collective and then engage with others in the quest to make this dream a reality for a suffering humanity. Look for communities to engage with. Let go of the ego's need to stick to what it knows and to be comfortable. Be open to learning new things and working with people from various traditions and backgrounds under the directive of the heart, which is the voice of the eternal here in form. The bottom line is there is no guarantee that tomorrow will come. What you have is right now. Focus yourself and recommit to the service you were called to perform. We are the vanguard of change on earth. We need you. Humanity needs you. I am Shisara Akona. Kamara, love and blessings to all of you this May.